it's actually very easy to identify which in the situation is the base and which is the percentage and the rate. If we describe a given situation as a large circle, let's draw a large circle. This large circle is actually the base. It's the base because it um, represents the total, the totality of the given quantity. A part of this circle, shall we say, like this part, this part represents a region in the circle. This part is actually called the percentage. It's the percentage because it is just a part of the base. On the other hand, the percent that represents this part or region is actually called the rate. Okay, so like for example, if we go back to our um, examples, let's start from number one. 250 students represent the whole population. That's why it's the big circle or the base. While um, the part, 14%, is the rate that describes a certain part which is outstanding. While the percentage is a no. For, for situation number two, our big circle or the base is the 1,200 delegates. While 60 is just a percentage because it's just a part of 1,200 delegates, which is or uh, which have ages 11 to 12 years old. Well, the percent that describes that 60 out of 1,200 is what we call the rate. And in this problem, it is unknown. For our last situation, our big circle or the base uh, corresponds to the total members. It's the base because it's the total members and it's unknown. The 38% is the rate that describes... 18 members out of the total members in the club which watch Justin Bieber's concert. So again, 18 members is the percentage because it is just part of the total members present in the club that watch or who watch uh, Justin Bieber's uh, concert. Well, the 38% is the rate that describes the 18 members in percent. Well, we could also uh, change 38% into fraction or decimal. So I hope that's clear to you.